me, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to the Freeze Trap, which has just been released a couple of minutes ago inside of the game. So the Freeze Trap is actually currently spaced right in front of the Expo and the Air Defense there guys, and this is a live attack inside of the Legends League, we are currently sitting at just under 5300 trophies, and I want to see what this Freeze Trap is all about, so check it out, they're actually about to enter it very shortly, here we go, Freeze Trap has popped. And it's just frozen a couple of giants. So it's not really that serious from what I can actually see, guys. Now, we have a variety of different Legend League defenses to show you. And it's actually probably, in my personal opinion, and I don't mean any offense to Supercell, but one of the most pointless things they've actually added into the game. Just like the Santa Surprise spell, guys, it doesn't really do much. And on top of that, it's only available for a couple of days. So it's not really that great, guys. But I'm not going to lie, it's fun. It's definitely a fun aspect to have inside of the game. But unfortunately, it just doesn't really do much in terms of, you know, positive effect on the actual, uh, the mecha of the game and how everything works. It's, it's just not really that great. So as I said, though, we are going to show you a variety of different defenses and what it's actually capable of doing. Now, this guy's actually got 48%, so we actually could have got a victory here if he didn't manage to grab my town hall, but he did grab the town hall. There was a double giant big bomb just behind the freeze trap there, and it seemed to have done a great job taking out his bowler, so that's awesome. So within the next 24 hours, we are going to do a variety of different tests using the, uh, the new freeze trap, so please make sure you subscribe to this channel, guys. If you do want to stay up to date with all the gameplay, we will be providing from the freeze trap and, of course, the, uh, wow, we just lost 16 trophies. We were a whale of an offer, and that was only a one-star. But don't forget the uh, the actual Ice Wizard will be coming out in three days' time, guys. So if we just go into the tab here, you can see the Clashmas Special Freeze Trap, nine days and 22 hours remaining. And then the, uh, the Santa Surprise, nine days, 22 hours also. The third day of Clashmas comes in two days' time, so I'm guessing everything is going to be taken away on the 5th of January. So uh, Supercell, you're doing us you're doing us harm here, Supercell. So they've basically given us three gifts, guys, but they're only going to be lasting till the 5th of January 2017. Then Supercell most likely is going to come, be the uh, you know the mean daddy here, and take away all the fun toys. Okay, so you saw that first replay, guys. Now, we do have a variety of different Legend League attacks to actually show you using the Freeze Trap. So, we actually basically, for the last hour or so, have been removing our, our shield and also removing our, uh, our actual, what's it called? So, if you remove the shield, then you remove the guard. So, we've removed our shield, removed our guard non-stop for the last hour just to get a variety of different defenses. So, we're going to show you some of the cool ones. I'm going to show you one which is absolutely hilarious. I think it was this one right here. This is an actual air attack coming in now. And it's um, and it, it's a funny one. So what I want you guys to do, let me know down below by liking or disliking the video. Do you like the freeze trap? Leave a like on the video. Do you dislike the freeze trap? Leave a dislike on the video. Let's see what the ratio kind of is. Also, let me know down below what you think is going to be inside of the final Clashmas package, guys. Is it going to be the Ice Wizard as predicted, or could it be something different? Let me know down below in that comment section. The winner gets a cookie, a Christmas cookie with eggnog. I've never even tried eggnog, so here we go, guys. Check it out. What's this dude actually doing? I think he's dropping some archers. Yeah, okay, so he's dropped a couple of archers. Let's just go quad speed until he actually sends in the main armies. Now, this is one of the funniest things I've actually ever seen. Check this out, guys. So he's got a lava loonian coming in, a couple of minions just behind. Now, the freeze trap is right there. And take a look. This, this lava hound is about to pop and triggers the freeze trap. And it freezes like two or three little lava pops. That was it. It didn't even freeze the balloons. So it's a hilarious new trap. It doesn't really do too much. And you only get one of them. I mean, what's that all about? You only get one freeze trap. Now, I understand why Supercell have done this, guys. They're not permanent features in the game. They're only here for a temporary period. And I don't think Supercell actually wanted them to affect the meta of the game. They didn't want it to become unbalanced on attack. They didn't want it to become unbalanced on defense. And that is the reason why the Santa, Pel Santa spell, I think, sucks. And also why the... Um, why the actual freeze trap sucks and I think if the ice wizard does come into the game in a couple of days time I honestly think it's going to be the exact same as the wizard in terms of damage per second hit points everything's going to be the same the only difference is going to be the aesthetic look to it the only difference in my opinion 
will be how the Ice Wizard and the Wizard actually look. So check this out. This dude almost three-starred my base. It came so, so close. Luckily for me, my actual Archer Tower somehow managed to take out that Queen there. We do have that brand new level 10 Wizard Tower sitting there though, so he would have done some damage. But here we go, the Barbarian King smashing through that final uh, Eagle Artillery there. And then he's going to move on to the actual Bomb Tower and the Wizard Tower with the Archer Tower. Now obviously, in order to get a great perspective on the actual free spell guys, on the freeze trap, sorry. We are going to bring you a war in 6 hours and 45 minutes time. And inside of this war, I've actually set my new actual base. Now this base is made by a YouTuber. And if it does great, I'm going to do a whole episode on what this base is all about, his channel, and loads of, uh, you know, loads of reasons why it works well. So let's just actually test this base and see how well it does. It looks awesome, but will the looks just be for the, you know, just, it, will it just be a pretty little thing or will it actually work well? So check it out. The freeze trap is right there, guys. I don't know whether we should keep it there, but I'm guessing inside of war, a large amount of the attacks are most likely going to be coming from the Eagle Artillery side. And if he sends in an air attack, and we can actually drop that free spell on some balloons or something, then that's great. The air defenses will tear them down. And if he sends in a bowler army and maybe he wastes the Grand Warden's ability, hopefully the free spell can hold them in their uh, hold them in their actual place. Their freeze trap. Sorry, guys. I keep saying free spell. So let's get ourselves into another defense. And we're going to show you another one. Check this out, guys. So some of these defenses didn't even trigger the freeze trap. And for some reason, its radius seems to be really small. So check this one out. This is another Legend League attack, guys. So the dude's going to start with an Archer Queen walk over on the left hand side. He's going to take out quite a few of those buildings. I think he's got five healers, five maxed out healers just behind this level 40 queen. Going to be dropping in some wall breakers. Here we go guys, three wall breakers coming in. It's actually quite a dodgy attack strategy. He's only got three wall breakers. If they fail, then he's going to find himself in serious trouble. But lucky for him, of course, they did not fail. And the queen, I think, is also going to swing into the base once she's taken out this cannon. And possibly that gold mine. Is she going to go for the gold mine? Here we go, guys. She's going to swing up to the gold mine. And then I think she might swing down into the base. Nope. She's just going to keep on going. So that's cool. So he's going to start the actual attack off, guys. There goes a golem, a couple of bowlers to create a great funnel. They're going to go off to the right-hand side here. And then the rest of the troops are going to go straight into the center with the rest of the bowlers. And, of course, the Grand Warden, the King, and the Spells. So check it out. Rage Spells gone down straight away. The King is swinging. Sorry, the Queen is swinging up towards the top of the base. But we want to keep an eye here where the actual Freeze Trap is, guys. So check it out. The Barbarian King has gone down the bottom. Let's see if he's actually going to trigger this trap, this new trap inside of the game. So he's going to go, oh, sorry guys, 20%. He's going to go over to the gold storage, take out the mortar. Poison spell has been dropped down on my Barbarian King. There goes Barb King's ability. Now it's right there. It's literally right there and it doesn't go off. I don't know why it doesn't go off, guys. It's right there and it doesn't go off. I mean, I don't know what is going on. I don't know if Supercell have made the, uh, the radius of it so, so small. That it barely even gets triggered, or maybe it just glitched out there, maybe something went wrong. But for some reason, the freeze trap did not activate. You all saw it didn't activate. We didn't use it earlier. It's definitely in that position, guys. So I'm not sure why it didn't activate for some reason. Now, this dude actually closing in on a two-star, but unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to grab the town hall. The queen has swung around the outside of the base. She's actually going to come and jump into the center in a few seconds' time, guys. Let's just go double speed here to finish off this raid. Level 40 queen. Her ability is already being used. The Inferno Towers in a great position there, of course, able to protect the town hall. For some reason, the expo, this one, was actually set to air. And I didn't mean to do that, so we're going to go and change that in a second's time. We're going to set that to ground only. I always set my expos to ground only. To be honest with you, air attacks at Town Hall 11 are a lot more popular. And right now, they do, like, literally, like, so much more damage. But for some reason, I just love to see ground attacks, and I love to punish them as well. Everyone seems to use a Queen Walk. So let's try and defend against these Queen Walks using these, uh, these ground expos, guys. So there we go. That is the Freeze Trap in all its action so far. So what we're going to do... Right now, in a few moments' time, we are actually going to go over to my baby account and we're going to build a new base. Now, inside of the new base, we're going to incorporate the freeze trap 
with five giant big bombs. It's going to be like an awesome troll base. I really want to see what this new free strap is all about. So tomorrow inside one of the episodes, once the cooling down of the base has actually finished, we are going to try a variety of different troops against this brand new free strap. So let's just check out statistics, guys. Spell duration, five seconds. Rearm cost, 2,000. It doesn't say what kind of damage it does because it doesn't do any. For those of you that are wondering, all it is is a, it's literally a free spell. That's all it is. So obviously, similar to the big bomb in terms of looks and radius possibly. In fact, it doesn't even say the radius. The damage area of this is 3.5 tiles, whereas the damage radius of this is uh, zero damage. And it has a trigger radius of two tiles. So for some reason, it didn't trigger there. Although the Barbarian King, the attacking Barbarian King in the previous raid was within its vicinity, it didn't trigger. Let's just check what the radius is on this, guys. The trigger radius, two tiles also, so strange. I don't know why the ice bomb didn't trigger the ice trap. And uh, you know what? We're going to end this episode here, guys. There will be another one coming in a couple of hours' time. It could be focused on war to see what the freeze trap is all about inside of war. But to be honest with you, we've only received one of them. As I said, it's most likely because Supercell didn't really want to interrupt or, you know, kind of disfigure the meta of the game. They don't want to, you know, kind of unbalance attacks and defenses within COC. So I understand why the Freeze Trap and the Santa spell suck so damn bad. Let me know down below, guys, what do you think about them. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, like or dislike the video to show me whether you like the Freeze Trap or whether you really damn hate it. If it was me and I was watching this episode, I would like it because it's something new, but I will dislike it because it sucks. I will see you shortly, guys. Peace out.